on comparing fractions. So we're going to show a few different ways to compare fractions. So there's our common core strand and our essential question is what strategies can we use to compare fractions? All right, and we're going to go over three of them here. So here's one. So Ryan and Brianna are eating the same size small pizzas. One plate has five six of Ryan's pepperoni pizza. Uh, another plate has three fourths of Brianna's Hawaiian pizza. Whose plate has more pizza? Okay, well, uh, so let's circle the numbers that we need to compare. Well, we need to compare those two fractions, 5 6 and 3 4. How many pieces uh, make up each whole pizza? Okay, so here it says Ryan has 5 6 of his pepperoni pizza uh, left on the plate. So there's uh, uh, six pieces um, uh, on Ryan's pepperoni pizza. So how many pieces are there? And then there's going to be four pieces on Brianna's one. So the denominator tells us how many pieces there are in the whole pizza. So Ryan's pizza, pizza had uh, six pieces and, and Brianna's has uh, four pieces, okay? So here we're going to compare five, six, and three fourths. Because remember, let me go backwards a little bit right here. It says uh, uh, on, on Ryan's plate, there's five, six of his pizza left. And on um, uh, Brianna's plate, there's three fourths of her pizza left. And so the question is, whose plate has more pizza? All right, so we're going to compare five, six, and three fourths. So this is called the missing piece strategy. So what we can do is we can compare fractions by comparing the pieces uh, missing from the whole, okay? So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to shade, since uh, Ryan has five six of his pizza left, we're going to shade five of these six ones here. And since Brianna has three fourths of hers left, then we're going to shade three of these fourth size pieces here. Okay, and then it'll represent, uh, uh, and then each fraction represents a hole that is the, the one that's missing right there. Okay, so here's the missing piece in Ryan's size, and here's the missing piece in Brianna's size. And so... So what we're going to do is compare those um, uh, sizes here. Now since uh, 1 6th right here, can you see that 1 6th is smaller than 1 4th right here? Okay, so since 1 6th uh, is smaller than 1 4th, you know, so it's less than 1 4th right there, a smaller piece is missing from whose pizza? It's missing from Ryan's pizza right there, okay? So since the, uh, the question's asking, whose plate has more pizza left on it right there? So so if the smaller piece uh, is uh, uh, missing from Ryan's pizza, then that means uh, uh, Ryan's going to have more piece, uh, bigger pieces left, or not bigger pieces, he's going to have more of his uh, pizza left because she has a, uh, a bigger amount uh, missing on hers. He has a smaller amount missing on hers. So, so whose plate has more pizza left? Well, Ryan's plate has more pizza left. Okay, so what we did was is we... We shaded five of the six for Ryan's pizza. We shaded three of the fours for uh, Brianna's pizza, and then uh, then we compared the missing piece that wasn't uh, that was eaten up already. And so Ryan had a smaller piece uh, missing than Brianna, so that meant uh, Ryan had more pizza left on his plate. Okay, so there's one way, you guys. So let's let the, how. Uh, how knowing that one, sorry, tongue twister, explain how knowing that one-fourth is less than one-third helps us compare three-fourths and two-thirds, okay? So we can do the missing piece thing again right here. So um, uh, if we know that one-fourth is less than one-third, can you see one-fourth right here is less than one-third? Here, uh, one of these is not shaded out of the three. Here, one of these, uh, this is not shaded out of the four. Okay, this one-fourth is less than one-third. Okay, and since one-fourth is less than one-third, Third, then the smaller piece from the whole is taken away. So if this smaller piece is taken away, that means there's more left over on this, uh, uh, they call it a fraction circle right here, than this one right here. So if you take the smaller piece away, it leaves the larger piece of the whole left over. So above right here, this three-fourths is bigger than this two-thirds. Okay, see how two of the three are shaded right here? So this is two-thirds. And here, three of the four are shaded. This is three-fourths. There's more shaded here. Uh, than over here right here, okay? So since we know that um, uh, one-fourth this uh, piece right here is less than this piece right here, uh, then the remaining part's going to be bigger. Okay, does that make sense? All right, Jamie has two-thirds of his homework completed. Sammy has one-third of her homework completed. Who has more of their homework completed? Okay, so we're going to compare two-thirds and one-third this time. Okay, here's another strategy. When you have the same denominator, like right here, they're in terms of thirds, when the denominators are the same, we can compare only the number of pieces or the numerator. So, so we just got to focus on the numerators right here. So which number is bigger, the 2 or the 1? Well, obviously the 2 is bigger. 
So that means two thirds is bigger than one third right there. Okay, let's answer the question right there. So who has completed more homework? Well, Jama. Jama has completed more homework right there. Okay, so um, uh, two thirds is bigger than one third. Let's try this. Mrs. Viegas is making a fruit smoothie with three fourths pound of blueberries and three eighths pound of bananas. Which weighs less, the blueberries or the bananas? Okay, so here we're going to compare three-fourths and three-eighths. All right, now check it out. The last one, the denominators were the same. This time, the numerators are the same. Okay, so, so when the numerators are the same, we look at the denominators to compare the size of the pieces. The bigger the denominators, the smaller the sizes. Remember that uh, one-sixth and the one-fourth with the pizzas? Okay, so if whoever has the bigger denominator is going to be smaller right here. So this is the bigger denominator, so, so definitely 3 eighths is going to be less than 3 fourths right there. Okay, so let's answer the question right here. So uh, which weighs less, you guys? Well, the bananas are going to weigh less because they were the ones that have 3, ends, yeah, three eighths of a pound. All right, you guys, um, and if you would, can you click like and or subscribe? That would please me. Take care, you guys.